we are going to do the proof for our first kinematics equation. So we're going to do the proof of d equals one half vi plus vf t. And after we do this, it'll be a short little step to go d equals vit plus one half at squared. Those are our two proofs that we're going to do. We're going to make an assumption. We're going to assume for ease of the proof that we have constant acceleration. Without constant acceleration, this stuff's just not going to work. Okay, so constant acceleration means that when we draw our VT graph, we're going to get a specific look. So let's draw that specific look. So there's my graph, an object accelerating at a constant acceleration from an initial velocity will have started at this initial velocity, will end up at that final velocity, and it'll travel over this time frame. Next assumption I'm going to make is that area equals displacement on a VT graph. So here's what I do. I'm going to break this shape into areas. I'm going to call this thing area 1, I'm going to call that area 2, and so for proof number 1 here, I'm going to take my displacements, and I'm going to go area 1 plus area 2. That has to be the total displacement traveled during this time frame. This area, it's a rectangle, so my displacement is going to be length times width. This area 2, that's a triangle, so that's going to be one half base times height. So, length times width. Usually you call this length. I'm going to call that my length, this my width. So from here to here, that's my VI. So, that's going to be VI times my entire time. So, VIT. I'm going to add that to area of my triangle. Well, we know that from here to here is VF, from here to here is VI, so then from here to here has got to be VF minus VI. So that then is going to be my base, which I'm going to call as my base, so that's VF minus VI, and my time. Time. <clears throat> so let's move that up a little for you. So when I simplify this thing all out, I get VIT plus one half VF minus VI T. Kind of close. We just got to do a little simplification here. I'm going to simplify this out. So I'm going to be going D equals VIT plus one half VF T. I just ran the one half through and the T through minus one half VI. All right, let's continue here. So I run it through, one half VIVF. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. And so what that will give me then, D equals, I'm going to take my minus one half VIT, and I'm just going to combine over here, VIT minus one half VIT minus plus, sorry, plus one half VFT. VIT subtract half of a VIT is going to leave you with a half of a VIT plus a half of a VFT. So, in simplifying this, I'm going to drag out my one half and I'm going to separate my VI and my T as well, and my VF and my T. So there we go. There is the proof for D equals one half VI plus VFT. To prove this next d equals vit plus one half at squared, we go to the exact same position that we were at originally here. Vit plus one half vf minus vit. Now, what I need to do as I need to go back to my assumption section here and remember that a equal acceleration equals VF minus VI over T. 
So now what I'll do is I will divide everything by t. So I'm going to divide by t, divide by t, and divide this whole thing by t. And you'll notice that I have right here vf minus vi is equal to t. So I'm going to substitute that in for acceleration. So d over t is going to be equal to, well, notice that I'm going to have just a vi because I'm going to have canceled these t's. Plus one half, I'm going to put in my acceleration in replacement of this. Take that time. Now, I don't want d over t, so I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to take this t and I'm going to times it by everything. So I'm going to get a vi t plus a one half a t, but t times t is t squared. Quite simply like that is your second proof. So there you go. Good luck.